All right, I have an update on Oliver. He is doing great. Um, he barked pretty nonstop on uh, Wednesday, and I did interrupt him twice, two times, with the um, pager, pager function on the remote collar, so just a vibration. He really hasn't barked since. Normal barking, but not that nonstop um, incessant. So his attitude is great. He's eating, no stress colitis, none, normal stools. Um, happy attitude, waggy tail. So we're going to show you his leash work here, and then we're gonna introduce place and uh, potentially introduce the remote collar on place there. So let's see how he does. All right, heel, heel good. That's a good boy. Good. Sit. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Place. Excellent. Good boy. Place. Very good. Place. Good job. Very good. So all I'm doing is just showing him that this has a name, this location. Place. Good boy. Place. Excellent. That's very good place. Good boy. Good. Okay. Okay. Good. Little release. Bring him back and start over again. Here. Sit. Good boy. Place. Just a little reinforcement on that. Good boy. Place. Good. Very good. distraction, moving around him, getting a little more distance from him. Um, I'm going to sit in the chair here in a second. A lot of times that will move the dogs off of place. Very good. Oh, what a good boy. Place. Very nice. So when he's not out for a training session or out in the yard, he is curled up on his bed, just chilling out. Um, very pleasant. Very pleasant dog right now. Good boy. Uh-huh. Good 
job. Place. Oh, aren't you clever? Good boy. Beautiful. So it doesn't look like I even need to do remote collar intro on this today, so it will come at a later time. Um, but fantastic. Look at this guy. Did you know he had it in him? Good boy. Once that barking stopped, he's able to focus. And I think the barking was just consuming him and it was self-rewarding. So he was continuing to do it and nobody told him to stop it, at least not in a way that he understood. Um, I think the, the daycare did him a big disservice by not interrupting that barking because I think that would have helped him place. Good. Would have helped him early on. Um, so if you wanted to do Great work. I think he's completely fine with it. He's not stressed at all. At all. As you can see, wagging his tail, um, calm, focused. I'm really, really happy with him at this point. Good boy. Beautiful. Good boy. So I'm going to do 10 minutes on place today. And eventually he's going to go down on place. We're going to get on place. He's going to lay down. Um, I'm going to do 10 minutes today. The next time we do place, he's going to do 20 minutes. And then the next time after that, we're going to do 30. And then from there on out, we're doing 30 minutes a day until he goes home. And the recommendation is that you continue doing that, at least for a little while. Um, that just really helps with impulse control and... Um, nope. Nope. Place. That's it. Sit. Sit. Good. Place. Um, and it's just a super useful exercise. So um, <clears throat> we're going to go for 10 minutes today. I'm going to turn my camera off here in a moment. <clears throat> you can see him. He's got a great attitude. Wagging his tail. Not over the top. Um, keeping it together. I'm just really happy with this boy right now. I was expecting him to be a little more jittery, a little more um, unhappy. He's not. Once I stop the barking, he's been chill. Good boy. Yeah, good job. Very nice. All right, there he is. He'll have another video next week. That'll be getting him into the off-leash work. And uh, right now, he's a rock star.